All right, here is a quick unboxing of the Garmin VivoFit Activity Tracker. It's supposed to track your steps, calories, and miles walked. Um, I'm using this as a way to essentially make sure that I move more every single day so that I can lose body fat, lose body weight, and make my weight class for powerlifting. I'm going to also use do a comparison between the Body Bug uh, and the Fitbit app, which is available for the iPhone 5S if you have one. So you can actually use your iPhone as an activity tracker. Um, and initially I was going to just use the iPhone 5S, my iPhone, to track my activity, but because of the, the battery usage and because of the limitations of not being able to hold my phone all the time when I work out, I decided to just get this, this wristwatch here and also just share my experience. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to charge it. And that's kind of one of the main things, the reason why I got it. It has a display to tell me what I'm doing on a regular basis and also uh, you don't have to charge it for a year. You don't have to buy new batteries. When we're trying to improve ourselves, make ourselves stronger, and change our bodies, everything comes from behavior change, regular daily behavior change. And again, the purpose of this is to change my daily behavior, to move me in the direction of where I want to go, and that is losing some body fat, so that way I can meet the 82 and a half So as you can class. see here is the Garmin VivoFit. This is my steps goal, or the amount of steps I need to, uh, how much steps I have left to hit my goal, about nine, a little 900, 9,000 steps. And then I have, uh, what is that? That's how many miles I've walked, 0 0.04 miles. And then uh, I think that's calories burned, 1,100, which I don't really trust. And uh, the time. So, just wanted to share my experience, kind of, I just got this. And one of the biggest reasons why I got this in the first place is to change behavior. I need something to wear to change my behavior, and that is I need to move more. I need to burn more calories. Uh, I'm trying to do a slow cut to make weight for my powerlifting meet, and I don't like, I can, but I really don't want to I'm do a fast cut, having to rush and cut all my calories and do a shitload of cardio. I just want to slowly lose body fat, slowly lose body weight for my powerlifting meet, and also for the summer. Why not look better for the summer? Why not look leaner for the summer? Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of comparison review with the little body bug which I'm gonna wear for probably another week before I can get rid of it I can't wait to freaking stop wearing this thing I'm just so annoying on the arm and I feel like it tightens up my bicep sometimes it's kind of annoying and the other thing I'm gonna compare is the uh, the Fitbit app there's a if you if you have an iPhone 5s you can use the iPhone 5s as a kind of a tracker and you can uh, track your steps it's kind of neat and I decided to get a watch because I don't know when you have a reason to spend money you have a reason to spend money and this is my reason uh, it's for my goal. So anyways, just want to share this with you. And if you have any questions, feel, please feel free to comment. I'm going to do a kind of a, a accuracy review with the, uh, how much the body bug uh, determines how much I burn, how much the, uh, the, the Garmin uh, Vivo Fit tells me how much I burn, and then as well as the, the, the Fitbit tracker. Uh, and that's kind of the last note, just to tell you the difference in accuracy. I think the body bug kind of, uh, kind of puts me a little high. It makes me think I'm burning a lot more calories than I actually am maybe two to three hundred I'm guessing and then the a lot of other non body bug trackers like that use your steps and just use a, the standard formula which is the Harris Benedict formula typically every fit every activity tracker uses uh, some sort of kind of a, a logarithm where they use the Harris Benedict formula which helps calculate metabolism and using the and Harris Benedict formula determines your base metabolic rate and then whatever steps you take and other things like that's what Fitbit does, that's what Body Bug, Body Media does, that's what all these do to kind of determine how much calories you burn.